from the state capitol in Indiana, it's Lucas Oil Stadium, downtown Indianapolis, the home of the Colts. This taken in at the eight-yard line. And a solid run back there. He'll get this out past the 30-yard line. Cooper going in motion. Allen going to throw to get things going. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. Just a great example of not only the anticipation, but the instincts to go break that pass up, Mike. You can see he's clearly looking at the quarterback's eyes. And once that ball was delivered, he's just attacking it and breaking it up. He'll try again here. Second and ten. The tight end, Kincaid, in motion. Now Allen to throw on second down. Pass to the rookie from Florida State, Keon Coleman. And they'll be set up now. Up past the 40 with that one. Zone route running, Mike, is very simple. Once you come off the line of scrimmage after the ball is snapped and you know it's zone coverage, as long as it's sort of in the area the quarterback expects you to be, my rule was just run where they're not. And when he throws it, catch it. And he'll take this forward for about three. It's second down. Judge throws the flag. He looks at the ball, looks at the clock. Clock says zero. That's a delay again. On the zone read, a handoff here to Cook. And he'll be marked down at the 45-yard line. The goal of every offense, Mike, is to find a way to establish a balance between the run and the pass. With some success here early on the ground, we'll open up things as the game unfolds for the quarterback in this passing game. Here's first and ten. They'll keep it on the ground with Cook. And he'll get about five. Once again, it's Cook. And he'll manage to pick up about four. Julian Blackman comes up from the safety spot to bring him down. Seventh play of this opening drive. And here's third down. Out of the gun, here's Allen. He gets this complete to Shakir. Ten yards for number ten on that one, and it's first and ten. Mike, I think we make so much of all these fancy routes, right? The selling, the head fakes, getting in and out of the break. And while that's really important to create separation, that's really more of a man beater. That's when teams want to just play you one-on-one -on -one and you have to beat the defender. Against zone defense, if we saw here, it's a lot more simpler understand the concept of the play, understand where the holes in the defense are, and get there and be friendly to the quarterback. And if you're open, stay open. That's NFL route running. That's what the best guys do. On the move at the 14-yard line, it's first and 10. From the gun, Josh Allen. That's taken in by Shakir. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. Second and a yard. 
Throwing again. It's Allen. And that one's incomplete, but a late flag comes in. Looked like he might have gotten there early. So that pass interference in the end zone puts the pressure on the defense. It is first and goal from the one. And he's not going to get in. In fact, he'll lose yardage. They push him backwards. Trying to catch the defense off guard with this designed quarterback run. Doesn't go down for a sack, but either way, defense was ready for it, able to bring the quarterback down for a loss. From back at the two now, here's second and goal. They'll send their tight end left. They'll run with Cook. Powering forward. He's in. James Cook. Touchdown, Buffalo. A lot of big bodies down there, but at the end of the day, the one that mattered, the one with the ball, finds the end zone for the touchdown. Yeah, once that back gets the ball, Mike, he's just looking for a little crack of daylight, and he's thinking, I'm going to run into it and just hope I come out the other side. And in this case, the other side's the end zone, and they get six. So, 7-0 the score, and set now for the dynamic kickoff. Anthony Gould now to return. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. They'll come up here first and 10. To throw is Flacco. He's got a man. That's Josh Downs. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. So you come back out here after watching the opposing team score first. And what you want to do is you got to establish a little early rhythm and get the drive started. Get a little positive energy into that huddle. And what hopefully starts out good ends with you being able to get some points of your own. The open man is the tight end, Granson. They're trying to use that size to push forward, but it's not going to work. Defense strong up front. And they're going to get him down behind the line of scrimmage. Well, you know, Mike, if I had to guess, I'd say that's probably not what they had in mind when they called that play. But those guys on defense, they felt like they knew what was coming from the start, and they got to him in a hurry. Throw right side, pulled in by Mitchell. They were able to connect on the comeback, but I don't think it was really well executed. This is a deeper route. This receiver's got to push his depth before his break a little bit more downfield. They'll take the completion, but they were hoping to get a little bit more with that one. So on fourth down, the Colts send out Rigoberto Sanchez to punt. And that's a nice job of getting to him, making sure that return was not going anywhere. The Bills offense ready to get going with their second possession. They lead 7-0 thanks to the touchdown on the opening drive. So try to double up here as they begin this drive first and 10. From the gun, it's Allen. And he'll be brought down, but not before they get this all the way up near midfield. Mike, you know what we used to call those plays? No, 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 yes. Because that's exactly what was going through the mind of the coach on the sideline when the quarterback decided to throw that ball into really tight coverage. They go play action now. Here's Allen. A very quick throw there, but... Not on the same page with his target. That's incomplete. Amari Cooper was the man he was looking for. It's second down. His offense is doing everything they can to quiet this crowd, and 
Even though they missed on that long attempt, at least it sets the tone that they're going to continue to attack. If they can come up with a completion on one of those downfield passes, it's going to go a long way to settling themselves into this game. Quick throw here is complete. And he's taken down on what should be the final play of this first quarter. So they'll talk over what to do on this third down play as we have hit the end of the first quarter. 7-0 is our score. We'll come back to Indianapolis in a moment. They'll empty out the backfield, line up for third and three. He's got his man. That's Kincaid. And he's going to have the first down taken down after a short pickup of five, but it will keep the drive going. We hear the term RPO so often, Mike, and it continues to kind of trickle its way into the NFL. But remember, it's a lot different in the NFL than it is in the college game where it's a lot more prevalent. The lineman cannot go downfield. So that quarterback has to make a lot of really... And they're going to get to him and take him down, take him back to the other side of midfield. The defensive coaches, they preached all week, Mike. They have to have relentless pursuit of this quarterback when he tries to extend the play. So often it results in a great play for the offense and a big pickup. This time, because of that pursuit, it leads to a big loss. From the shotgun, it's Allen. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. There was no hesitation from the quarterback. From the jump, he knew where he wanted to go with that ball, but still leads to an incompletion. They're just still not quite on the same page. Now Allen facing third and long. Look in middle, he's got to complete to Coleman. And he'll be taken down, but they are in business inside the 30-yard line. That's about as big time as you get. There's a saying, Mike, that you really judge your quarterback by his ability to operate, not only on third down, but what they call third and pass, meaning it's such a long down and distance, they have no choice but to air the ball out. And when you can convert third downs at that distance, chances are you got a pretty big time quarterback. Throughout this entire game, we've really seen this quarterback operate very efficiently, not only being able to spread the ball to multiple playmakers, Mike, but really complete a high percentage of his passes. So can't let that last incomplete break what's been a really nice rhythm so far. Allen, going to give it to Cook. He'll work forward for a couple. Zaire Franklin that time, there for the tackle. Converted twice on third down already on this drive. Now can they do it for a third time? That's taken in. It's James Cook. And it looks like he's going to have the first down. What great work after the catch to extend the drive. When you look back last year and the Buffalo Bills went on their late season run to the playoffs, it really was getting the ball in the hands of James Cook. 44 catches last year in year two, more than double his rookie year. He's going to continue to be a big-time player alongside Josh Allen. He's got it inside the five. And the Bills are going to have a first and goal coming up as they try to finish off this drive with six points. It's been a really good drive so far, but what I really like, Mike, is they're down here in the red zone and they continue to attack. Now, not quite a touchdown, but with first and goal, this defense certainly has their back against the ropes. Here's Cook. A dive, and he's in! James Cook, touchdown, Bills. Two touchdowns for him now on the afternoon. What a standout performance early on in this one. That his second rushing touchdown of the game. And some backs, Mike, they just have a sense of finding the end zone and being able to finish off these runs. That's exactly what this guy has been able to do today, and we're just getting started.
Following the touchdown, Bass is back to kick it off. Here's Gould on the return. And their drive will begin at the 30-yard line. The Colts offense ready to take over for their second possession. They're staring at a two-touchdown deficit, 14-0. The score as the offense tries to regroup and get going with first and 10. On the ground for the first time, here comes Jonathan Taylor. And he finds a little bit of space. He'll take this forward for a gain of four. Here's a second and six. Now, faking the give. Oh, no chance there. Under a heavy rush, he goes down. Early in this drive, they're trying to establish some offensive rhythm, but now after that second down sack, really puts them in a must pass. You don't want to be in third and long very often in the NFL. It's not a very high percentage conversion rate, and with the danger of a three and out, they better hold up here in pass protection. And this drive is over before it can start. He's swallowed up to force fourth down. Third and real long. This is where your defensive line has to come to life. They decided to keep extra blockers in the backfield, but it didn't matter. They were able to bring him down for a sack and brings up fourth down. Here's Rigoberto Sanchez now as he's on to punt for the second straight drive. And he's going to be hit and dropped right away. That's great coverage there. Winds up with nothing on the return. So now here comes the Buffalo offense heading back out onto the field. Their lead sits at 14-0 here in this second quarter. Looking to run away with this one before halftime. On first down, it's Allen. Open man downfield, it's Kincaid. And they'll get this one down to the 35-yard line. Just seems like every year, Mike, the tight end position just continues to grow within the passing game and establishes a bigger and bigger role. And listen, I know I'm biased, but if you want to have a good passing game, you better have a good tight end. Play action. It's Allen. That's caught downfield by Cooper. That's his third catch of this first half and good enough for a first down. Here's Allen. They'll set up the screen to Cook. And he's going to be taken down as we hit the two-minute warning here in this first half. You see so many teams wait till third down to execute their screen game. But I like in this case, the play caller changes things up. He uses the screen game on first down, which will have an effect on this pass rush going forward. How aggressive do they want to get after the quarterback? Because they got that screen play still in the back of their head. One more time going up top with Allen. That one taken in. Keon Coleman. Touchdown, Buffalo. This defense continuing to give up points. Greg, you've been on offenses like this. This has to feel great when you're on a roll like this. And it's really twofold, Mike. First and foremost, just like you said, Every offense in the league works all week. We want to start out fast. We want to establish some early rhythm and play our style of game. They've certainly done that. Now on the flip side, what does it do to your opponent? It takes them completely out of their game plan, knowing this early in the game, they're chasing points. Following the touchdown, Bass is back to kick it off. 
Josh Downs now on the return. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drop. Here's the Indianapolis offense. Now as they get set to take over once more, they find themselves down three touchdowns here, needing to flip the script in a hurry. And they'll start it here on first down. Flacco to throw. That's the tight end, Mo Alley-Cox. And he's not going to get too far tackled after a gain of just a yard. Here's a second and nine. Here's Flacco to throw. To the outside, hauled in by Pittman. They'll come up to third and three. Flacco. He gets this one complete to Pittman. Now the Colts will use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Set to go now on first and ten. Here's Flacco. He'll look deep for Pittman. And he'll take it on in. Michael Pittman. Touchdown Colts. This is when you're very fortunate as an offensive play caller, Mike, that you not only have the speed on the outside, but you got the big arm behind center because it doesn't get real fancy. If you can hold up in the protection, you're saying run as fast and as far as you can. I'm going to throw it as far as I can. And when you connect, it is a thing of beauty. And in this case, it results in a touchdown. Still a little time. Final minute of this first half. We'll see if they can do anything with this kickoff that is coming their way. A good return as he takes it across the 30. The Bills offense going to take over just before the half. The lead is a couple of touchdowns as this drive kicks off first and 10. The tight end, Kincaid, in motion. On first and ten, it's Allen. He's got his tight end, Kincaid. The Bills offense going to get it one last time here late in the opening half. They start with the lead and the football. They do so with tremendous field position. It's first and ten. They send him right out of the slot. They'll throw on first down with Allen. Now a timeout, Buffalo. They're second. Clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. A good spot here, second and a yard. From the gun, Josh Allen. That's over the middle, taken in by Cooper. Now they are in business, inside the 15-yard line. And with just four seconds left in the first half, a timeout is called.
Tyler Bass on to try the field goal. This a 31-yard attempt. Bass's kick is good. And the Bills have run out to a 24-7 lead. And that's a really nice boost here before the break. I mean, you work the clock well. You're able to steal some points. The biggest thing is you're able to build a little momentum now going into the locker room at halftime. So two seconds left to play, and the kick's away. Here comes the return from a yard or two deep. And he's going to be taken down as time runs out on this first half of play. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Bills on top. As we'll get you down to Orlando now, that's with the coaches, Jonathan Coachman, and our EA Sports halftime report. Here's Gould on the return. And he'll be brought down right around the 25-yard line. The Colts offense going to have a first crack at it as we begin this third quarter. The deficit is 17, so they got to start cutting into it soon. See if it starts here. First and 10. On first down, they'll start with Taylor. A gain of four as he's taken down. Here's second and six. To throw is Flacco. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Third and six. Throwing, Flacco. Back to the sideline and intercepted. Picked off by the safety, Taylor Rapp. First and ten. Throwing is Allen. Pass complete right side to Kincaid. Here's a second and three forthcoming. A carry for Cook. And he'll work his way for about four yards. That's good enough for a first down. This is Cook. And he'll get about six there. Setting up second down. On second down. Cook. And there's defense up to the task there. Gain of just two, and it's third down. He's got his man. That's Coleman. And he's going to have the first down. They convert on third and it sets up a first and goal. The timing of these RPO concepts, that's the entire key. Remember, Mike, in the college game, they get a three-yard window that they're allowed to be downfield even on a forward pass. That's not the rule in the NFL. These decisions have to be made quickly. If not, even after a good pickup, you could be coming back due to a flag.
The ball right on the five-yard line, second down and goal. Now Allen, he's got it at the three. And he'll get three yards here down to the two-yard line. So they have these rules for the receivers, Mike. They call them green grass rules. And the idea is if you're running across the field and you're looking at the quarterback, you're going to stay on the run. If you're not looking at the quarterback, that tells him, I'm going to sit in this soft zone. I'm going to what they call punch and pivot and stop. And that tells the quarterback to put the ball on your chest. That nonverbal communication between the receiver and the quarterback recognizing when you're open, stay open, that's the stuff that makes a lot of these offenses so difficult to defend. Tyler Bass on to try the field goal. This about as short as you can get. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Bills will extend their lead. So after the made field goal, Bass is back out there to kick it away. On the return, this is Downs. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Colts offense makes their way back out to the field for their next possession. They are in need of points in a big way as they set out on first and 10. Now Flacco gets it away quickly, and it's caught. And he's close to a first down. It's a gain of nine. Nice pitch and catch on first down. Here's Taylor. And the woes in the running game continue. They're going to subtract yards there. A loss on the play. Sometimes you run all those big bodies out there. You kind of tip your hand. I always love going big jumbo personnel for a play action. In this case, they keep the ball on the ground. The defense knew it was coming, and they suffer a loss. They'll try and run for this. It's Taylor. And he is going to have a Colts first down. They're able to convert, albeit not by much, but they get it on third and a yard. Here comes the blitz as he looks to throw. A throw over the middle, and they can't connect. It's incomplete. Adonai Mitchell, the intended target. And it'll be second down. Seems like the quarterback was a little predetermined in his read. I think he decided even before seeing the coverage where that ball was going. Next time, read the coverage. Let the play unfold. Don't force something that's not there. He's across midfield. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. Nice job there, getting the ball to your slot receiver and then letting him get to work. It's a nice feeling as a quarterback when you can just have a short throw still result in a big game. First and 10 now from the 36. A run with Taylor. He'll struggle to get back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe he gets a yard out of that one. It's second down. So, three quarters now in the books. Back with more after the break. You're tuned in to the NFL on EA Sports. Here's second and nine.
From out of the gun, he'll throw. Throw over the middle, looked in by Mitchell. And they're going to take this into the red zone to the 15-yard line. Nice play here by Adonai Mitchell. And, Mike, it's so important to understand in today's NFL, and teams continue to get better and better at it, the notion that if you want to score points in the passing game, it has to be a direct correlation to your ability to generate explosive plays downfield. And with Mitchell, it's a big reason why the Colts targeted him in this past year's draft. He is explosive. He can get downfield. He adjusts and tracks the ball very well. And then ultimately, you're not always going to be open. So if that's tight coverage, can you go up and compete for the ball? He checks all those boxes, and he's going to be a big weapon in this Indianapolis Colts offense. Zone read, it's a give to Taylor. And the defense right on that. I don't know if keeping would have done any better. No gain on that one. The size, the speed, and the strength of this defensive tackle was on full display, Mike. He defeats the block, strikes the ball carrier at the line of scrimmage. He's able to bring him down, keep it to no gain. On third down, they'll set up to throw. And that is caught. In the end zone, he's in. Touchdown. Touchdown, Indy. Well, Greg, the light's still on way down at the end of the tunnel here. They are climbing back into this one with that touchdown here in the fourth quarter. And they have a tall task ahead of them, Mike, but they have a chance. I mean, we've seen stranger things happen. Mm. They got a two-possession game here late. They're going to need a couple stops, and they're going to need a couple things to bounce their way. The kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away this one taken at the seven and they'll be set up well as he is past the 35 yard line the bills offense ready to get back at it they built a nice lead for themselves here they'll try to add to that beginning with first down On play action, Allen. And up until this point, this has been an incredibly efficient game from this quarterback. I mean, it's hard to think. Here we are in the second half, and that's only his second incomplete pass. So finally, the defense is able to do something to disrupt his timing and finally try to get him out of this groove. They'll run straight ahead with Cook. And they bring him down, but not until he crosses midfield. Two-possession lead, fourth quarter. This is the time, Mike, when you really can rely heavily on your run game. Everybody in the stadium knows you're going to run it, including the defense. They just can't come up with an answer to stopping. So they come to the line for first down and 10. On the carry, it's Cook. And this time, they are ready for him. He'll be thrown for a loss. No big game that carry. It's second down. At this stage in the fourth quarter, great job by the defense understanding exactly what the offense is trying to do. They're trying to bleed the clock, shorten the game. They completely sold out to stop the run, able to take them down for a loss. Here's a handoff to Cook. And he's going to be swallowed up again. Back-to-back -back runs, back-to-back -back losses. Now it is third down. You know at this point, the defense has to sell out and stop the run. You know exactly what the offense is trying to get accomplished by keeping the ball on the ground. But now the question remains, are they willing to take some risk here and put the ball in the air on third down? Or do they play it safe and keep running the clock by keeping the ball on the ground? Now Allen facing third and long. And that is incomplete. And this game almost just flipped completely on his head. You find yourself with a lead just trying to milk the clock away in the fourth quarter. And that's a gift. I mean, that defender just flat out drops the ball. And if he's able to secure that takeaway, this game looks very different for this offense. And 
and no return forthcoming. It's a touchback, and we'll come out to the 20-yard line. The Colts offense getting those helmets back on, ready to head out for their next possession. The deficit is double digits, so work to do as they begin this drive with first and 10. Right away, they'll set up to throw. Uh, nowhere to go. He's going to be taken down. It's A.J. Epinesa who gets in to record the sack. This is a great reminder of why it's so important to have great offensive tackles. When you get beat so fast off the edge, the quarterback has nowhere to go in the pocket to escape, and that's what happens. For the sideline, taken in by Pittman. Third and five. They'll look to throw. That's caught. Left side. It's complete. He's over 100 receiving yards on the afternoon now. And a first down to boot. Desperation time now setting here in the fourth quarter. This is where the urgency of your two-minute offense is so critical. How many plays can you run and how fast can you run them? Because one score is not going to do it. You're going to have to score and get the ball back and end up going down and punching it in again. That's complete. Jonathan Taylor out of the backfield. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. Here's second and two. On play action, he'll set up to throw. Trying the left side and caught by Pittman. And he's going to be taken down right at the 25-yard line. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They clearly have a mismatch in their favor, and every time they've looked his way, he's continued to make big plays. If I'm this coordinator, I think I'm giving him one more shot and see if he can push this thing over the goal line and come away with six. That's caught. It's Mitchell. He's taken down just shy of the 10. Every quarterback's dream is, can I get the ball out of my hand as fast as possible and get it to a guy that can do the rest after the catch? And it seems like nowadays throughout the entire league, the best offenses thrive in yards after the catch. A very quick throw there, but not on the same page with his target. That's incomplete. Flacco. And he's going to be taken down sacked back at the 17 yard line if there's one positive remaining it's the fact that they're still in scoring position but with the way they've been able to move the ball down here in the red zone they're thinking six but after that last sack their chances of converting here for a touchdown have gotten a lot more difficult throwing now on third and long To the end zone, it's intercepted. Picked off by Christian Benford. And the Bills are going to take possession here at their own six. On the ground, it's Cook to start this drive. And he'll work forward for about three. It's second down.
Here comes the rookie fourth rounder out of Kentucky, Ray Davis. And he's going to be taken down, and that will take us to the two-minute warning. You've got to consider this an absolute must-stop defensively. It's third down. They'll drop to throw. That's over the middle and taken in. He's got it. And he's going to be taken down. And that will take us to the two-minute warning. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and ten. A run up the middle with Cook. And a nice run there. He'll be stopped just shy of a first down. A pickup of nine. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second and in inches. A run with Cook. And he'll get about four out of that one. That should be enough to move the chains. It is. First down. Victory very much in sight now as they'll take a knee. So a road win here for the Bills. And right away, you can point to the turnover battle. Always key. Tells the story so often. It did here again today. Their offense didn't turn it over at all. They finished on the plus side with the takeaways. And as a result, they're going to come away with the victory. So that'll just about do it for Greg Olson and our entire team. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say so long, everyone.